Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in to A Libra's Way. I'm going to be doing a quick reading on Polly or Matic, um, <laughs> mainly because my phone has 10% left. <laughs> um, and I just feel like the energy is right, but my phone is not, <laughs> is not holding up. Um, but that's okay. I feel like also this has to do with, symbolically, they're kind of showing me like, Matic is about to recharge. I think there's going to be like a big pump soon with Matic. I don't know. Um, we have, um, we have the Ace of Swords, which is like the truth, the Ten of Pentacles, which is like a bunch of money coming through divine intervention or the temperance Sagittarius energy. We also have the chariot Cancerian energy. Now cancer starts, cancer season starts in June to July. I've been talking about how May, April, May, and June feel really important. Um, I feel like, I feel like King of Cups, Ace of Pentacles with the Eight of Wands. The King of Pentacles is here as well. So it feels like there's some sort of like stability. There's some sort of with the King of Cups here, like an emotional sort of thing that is happening um, to kind of like get, get this thing off the ground and running. But like I said, it feels like there's kind of like this pump. It's almost like they're showing me like with my phone, how my phone is about to die or how it seems like it's about to die. But like, if a phone dies or goes to 0% and you charge that phone, that phone gets charged back up and that thing is ready to go. So there's this energy right now that they're kind of showing me of in the coming months, we could see like nothing is really happening. I feel very strongly that that something is going to happen with Matic. I don't know to what extent, but I feel like there is something big that could happen soon with Matic. We have the Fool, we have the Tower, we have the Ace of Cups. Yeah, you guys, the Tower is here and the Ten of Pentacles, which is big. This is like money is about to come in. At first, they kind of showed me like $1 to $10. And I was like, wow, that would be crazy if that actually did happen. Because a lot of people would be like very happy with that outcome. If, you know, because if you owned like 500 of them and you bought them for a dollar each, like 500 times $10 is five grand, right? Like, I'm not saying it's what you should do, but I'm definitely a hodler. I, even if it does pump to 10 and it goes back down to three, I'm not selling. I'm not planning to sell my, my Matic for at least, I think this is at least a two to three year hold personally. So if I bought my Matic or most, I, I kind of bought like the max that I wanted to buy. Um, at this point in my life, I feel like I bought them in fall, uh, fall and into this spring of 2022. So I probably won't be touching my Matic regardless until mid to mid 2023 into like spring of 2024. But again, I think it's going to pump with Bitcoin when Bitcoin hits 100K. The halving happens, that's going to just make things so absolutely berserk. Like I said, um, I think Matic is going to be part of this movement. I don't know how, I don't know why exactly, because I don't know all the details. I'm just an energy reader, and if my guides tell me to say something, I say it. We have the lovers here, which is like, true love, a partnership, some sort of a big thing, but we have the King of Pentacles, which is reigning supreme here, which is like a stable type of a coin, right? Whenever you see King of Pentacles, immediately I think of stable coins or attaching or latching itself onto a stable coin. Um, but I also feel like some of these, and I don't know, maybe Matic is going to be something where like it becomes its own version of a stable coin. I don't know what that means. I don't know if that just means, because, you know, we have to remember too that like, Not every coin is going to hit a hundred grand, but if you get a coin that hits $50 and you bought it at $1, that's like a crazy return in itself, right? If you have, I don't know, I'm just going to use a random example, a thousand of those and they go to 50, $50, that's a $50,000, that's $49,000 profit. Okay. 
Like, that's pretty crazy, right? That's within two to three years, if it was to go to $50, that's like you could buy a car, you could put a down payment on a property, you could pay for your master's degree with that within two to three years. So, I mean, it's not about, it's, it's more so about just thinking about it in the long-term mind frame. 95% of the time, and I'm not using statistics from like, you know, some place, I'm just saying, I shouldn't use an exact statistic, but most of the time, the most successful people that have the most amount of money and preserve their money, preserve their wealth, preserve their resources are people that hold for the long run. When something happens, when there's a crash, they don't sell, they hold and they buy more. And when they buy more and it goes back up, their profits, their net worths, their resources catapult into a new space. And so this is just important for you to remember that like these things that are happening are, <sighs> these are big, right? This is a big deal. This is something where I feel like in the, in the coming weeks to months, we will see, well, weeks, it feels like we'll see some movement a shift, if you will. But I think, again, I feel personally like Matic is a long-term hold. Um, we have good energy with Matic. We always have. And I think that in the future, it will succeed. Thank you for tuning in to Libra's Way. Comment down below for more types of readings that you're interested in me uh, creating. Have a great day and see you next time. Bye.